Hey, 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 it's old Big Bob. One, two, one, three, seven, one, three, eight, nine, five, four, eight, nine, five, four, green, ATT, that now, on the Twitter, Mr. Bob, 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 eight, nine, five, four, and of course, you're watching Bob's Daily Deal here on YouTube, and all that within 10 seconds. That's amazing. All right, so, real slowly, one, two, one, three, seven, one, three, eight, nine, five, four. There you go. And I got the last four digits of my phone on my email, 8954greenatt.net. Of course, on the Twitter, it's Mr. Bob at BobBob8954. Bob and this is Bob's Daily Devo here on YouTube, where I hope you'll give me the old thumbs up and you'll, you'll thumb in, you know, the double thumbs. Thumb in a real nice uh, note, comment, criticism. Not really criticism, but a suggestion. How about that? You don't want to be critical. That wouldn't be very supportive would it although god condemns a lot of behavior and god comes through and says no that's you do that and <coughs> you might as well have a millstone wrapped around your neck so <coughs> we don't want to do that obviously do we no 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 it's not a good idea all right so friends and neighbors countrymen and uh folks that i know and don't know uh, that's old mr bob and i just uh, I'm going to be there right on time at 7.49. I promised the person, at least I, I told them I'd be there at seven between 7.50 and 8 o'clock. And so now I'm going to be there on time. It's unbelievable because I got this chair. This is my grandmother's, my grandmother's chair. If you look real carefully, it's all put together with nails. Nails. Little nails. There's not one screw in the whole thing. And yet this chair has survived for over 100 years. It's pretty cool. And then the fabric, I got this cool fabric, I'll tell you. See there? So the fabric, the fabric, it uh, looks like it's faded quite a bit from what I had originally. It's not the original fabric, but it is an old type fabric. And it was all tacked together and we had it all redone real nice like back in the day. So this chair is gently moving back. It's just, just kind of sliding on back, sliding on back. I didn't want it to go forward, but now I don't want it to go back. It's just kind of, hopefully it'll just sit tight there where it is. <coughs> so I was saying that I put this lock on and then I got the handle, but the handle didn't have the hole for the little, like, oh, help me, Lord. <coughs> I just goes to show you that I maybe should have taken a little more time at the lock shop, but I was already taking plenty of time at the lock shop. I wasn't rushing through. I spent about 30 minutes, and I paid the bill. I did the whole thing. So now all that means is I got to go back to the lock shop in the morning and I have to uh, get the part. I was willing to drill out the, uh, the, the handle, but I thought, well, I bet you Andre has got the correct handle just sitting in a box. And so it's better not to, it's better not to mess with Andre and the handle because if I mess up that handle, then the place where they really need the handle is not going to have it because I would have drilled it out. It's it's not a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and do the right thing and just return the handle that's not right and pick up the handle that is right. So that'll fix their little wagons, huh? That'll fix them up. That'll show them who the, the boss is there. All right. So... At this point, I don't really know what I'm thinking. I just know that I, I'm doing the right thing. I want to be on time to this meeting. And I'm grateful that somebody uh, came through. That was nice. And uh, my son and daughter and I, we had a real good uh, event yesterday at the AMC Theater. And we went to Fuddruckers and had, had uh, my son had a cheeseburger and I had the fish, fish and chips. And so it was a real, real nice, uh, nice event, nice day. Praise the Lord, that went great. I, won't, I wish I could play some music for you because I love music, but I'll just encourage you to, just to go to hillsong.com and here goes this guy, he's a real maniac. And then the other maniac's chasing him. It's Dodge versus Ford on the 210 racetrack towards Lockinata. Yeah, they're, they're dueling it out. 
they're both going about 85 and 90 and then the other guy's jumping in and I don't want to be everyone's in competition the problem is is we're on a freeway and this is not a competitive this is not a competitive zone this uh, freeway is not not meant to be a, a, a construction zone uh, it's not meant to be a, a freeway racetrack it's a very nicely done freeway though I'll say they just redid the whole thing see they got the goodie in the middle there and all the lanes have the extra wide marks and uh, everything's groovy here the only thing I'm sad about is they took away all the beautiful beige signs. They had these beautiful signs which were beige and the, uh, they have like a box behind each one with lines. It was very, very nicely done, very tastefully done. It showed the elegance of La Cunada Flintridge. And now La Cunada Flintridge, you know, they don't get nothing fancy. They're not going to be able to have their fancy signs anymore because the uh, Caltrans, the highway department, they decided that, oh well, I still think they should do it. I still think they should put the, the nicer signs and make it a little upgraded. It's a nice neighborhood and why not? I keep looking up. I'm scared to death that uh, the wood handles on top of the glass, that somehow that's going to be a problem because they're kind of on there like a point. So I'm not kind of scared about that, but there's not much I can do about it. I could stop the car and do all that, but I'll just just blaze on through. As I always say, if something happens to it, I'll just have to cover it with some plywood and I'll lose my nightlight or my daylight. Alright, we're almost there. Then this chair will sit up there until Mama comes, and then we'll get the chair to Mama, and she'll have a beautiful rocking chair for the house. And what she wants is she wants the beautiful hutch that Grandma Wilkin got back in 1957. So she wants to get that, and of course I want I want to get it too, but it's buried under hundreds and thousands of items. So. All right, well, I'm going to go. I love you, love you, love you. Have a great day. God bless you. Look up everything on YouTube, and you can learn about anything, especially about the Lord and about Bible verses and 1 Corinthians 13 and John 3.16 and, you know, uh, Genesis. And, uh -oh. The car does that. If I have it on cruise control and it's on cruise, I push the brake, and the brake doesn't go down. It's like it's not going down. So that's scary because the car is basically jetting forward with no with no control it's a glitch it's a bad glitch bad bad glitch and so I get, it always scares me but I got to remember to turn off the cruise control that's why I know nobody ever drives this car but me because I mean you could theoretically be in trouble if you didn't have the forethought to just turn off the cruise control so it's a kind of a glitch there I should have it looked into but it's an old old car and I probably need to have tires looked at too all right God bless you love you bye